Okay, so Mama Bear vlog. It's been a couple of days. Figure I owe you guys one. Um, grocery store food prep. Big, huge, important one. Um, I just got back from the grocery store, and when I get back, I immediately go into food prep. It's super important that you do this stage because it'll save you a million hours during the week. Maybe not a million, but close enough. Anyway, so what I've got going right now is immediately when I walk through the door, I turned on the oven to 375, and I turned my skillet on to medium heat. Um, and while that stuff was heating up, I kind of brought on my groceries in. And then as soon as uh, the, the skillet was hot and the oven's coming up to temp anyway, um, I threw dinner in the skillet. So we just did some chicken breast to, real quick. I went to the grocery store just to kind of grab a couple of things that I needed um, to make, me, make it through till probably like Sunday when I had time to do the big shop. But, uh, and then I had two packs of family packs of chicken uh, to cook that were sitting in my fridge that needed cooking. So um, what I've done is I've got the straight up boneless skinless chicken breast in the in the pan right now cooking for dinner um, and then I've got a big huge roasting pan full of two of the family packs of um, just split chicken breast. I just buy the split, it's cheaper uh, and then I just rip all the skins off and I actually cook it with the bone on um, makes the meat nicer. I like it, it's tastier. Um, and then I just sprinkle Cajun, uh, Cajun seasoning all over it. I like the grill mates, 25% less sodium um, actually, oh wait, no, I did Montreal chicken. Montreal chicken, da, da, da. good stuff. Um, so I sprinkle that all over top. Sprinkle, I'll show you my pan of chicken here in a second. So all I'm going to do is season this up and shuck her in the oven till it's done. Typically I'll let it go in there for like 25 minutes and then I'll um, take a knife and I'll slice through all the chicken breasts um, to kind of split them open and uh, depending on what the color of the meat looks like I'll throw it back in and I'll also pull out the thinner ones like if the meat's already cooked in some of the smaller breasts then I'll pull those off at that time and then I'll throw the bigger ones back in so it just really depends if I like to kind of cook by feel I don't really like let the oven just go and walk away from it because I tend to think that um, that's usually when I mess it up. <laughs> so, anyway, all right. So we got chicken going on over here. Chicken going on over there. And let's see. Um, and then I'm just gonna flip these, and I'm gonna show you what I got going. Ooh, nice. Switching it around. So, where is it? It's hard to see. Okay, so we got chicken cooking in the pan over here. Nice, nice. And then we get the big roasting pan of chicken here. So, like I said, that's two family packs in there. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten breasts. Uh, that's for my lunch. So, I'll typically... I think I've used the word typically like a million times right now. Um, so what I usually do is uh, I cook it all up, and then when it's cooled, I take uh, all the meat off the bone, chuck the bones in the rubbish, and then I take uh, sandwich baggies, and I fill each sandwich baggie with about 8 ounces of chicken. You can weigh it if you want to, or you can just fill the bag. It's a decent, like, one sandwich bag of chicken is a good, um, like, a good lunchbox size. So you can put that, like, you can make a wrap at lunch, or you can make, um, just throw, throw it on top of a salad, or you can chuck it into a stir fry, uh, and I'll put a couple of bags in the fridge, um, and then I'll put the rest in the freezer. I'm a big freezer girl. I love using the freezer. Um, it saves you a lot of time and trouble, but definitely if you're going to freeze, um, freeze stuff, cook it and portion it because then it's all you have to do is just like pull it out of the freezer uh, it's super easy I do the same thing with my fruit like sometimes like strawberries are on sale and you want to buy a lot of them but you know they're not gonna last very long so I'll take part of it what I think I'll probably eat before they go bad and I'll prep everything like wash it cut it stem them, like take the stems off do everything put them in a Tupperware container and then 